Ever wondered how companies protect their data from cyber threats? In this vast expanse of the digital world, every byte of data is precious. Whether it's a multinational corporation or a fledgling startup, safeguarding their information from nefarious cyber threats is paramount. Welcome to the complex yet fascinating realm of cybersecurity, a field that is constantly evolving to outsmart and neutralize these digital predators. Today, we delve into one of the most crucial components of cybersecurity, Intrusion Detection and Prevention Systems, or IDPS. These sophisticated systems act as vigilant sentinels, tirelessly scanning and protecting networks from a plethora of cyber threats. They are the unsung heroes of our digital safety, working behind the scenes to ensure our data remains secure. Intrusion Detection and Prevention Systems, or IDPS, might sound complicated, but they are crucial in the world of cybersecurity. Let's break it down. So, what exactly is IDPS? Well, let's start by breaking down the acronym. IDPS stands for Intrusion Detection and Prevention System. Quite a mouthful, isn't it? But don't worry, it's not as complex as it sounds. Imagine you're hosting a swanky party at your house. You have a list of invitees and you've hired a bouncer to monitor the entrance. The bouncer's job is to let in only those who are on the list and keep out any party crashers. Now, replace the party with your computer network and the bouncer with IDPS. That's it. It's as simple as that. The IDPS is like that bouncer, always on the lookout for any uninvited guests trying to sneak into your network. It's constantly scanning and analyzing the data flowing in and out of your system. It's looking for anything out of the ordinary, anything that doesn't quite fit the pattern or the norm. This could be anything from an unusual amount of data being transferred to an unfamiliar IP address attempting to access your network. But the job of IDPS doesn't stop at detection. Oh no, it goes a step further. Just like our bouncer wouldn't just spot a party crasher and let them roam around, the bouncer would take action, escorting them out, stopping them from causing any ruckus. Similarly, once the IDPS detects any potential threat, it takes immediate action to prevent it from causing any damage. This could be blocking the suspicious IP address or stopping the data transfer. Now, you might be thinking, well, that sounds great, but how does it know what's normal and what's not? That's a good question. The IDPS is trained to recognize the norm for your system. It's like our bouncer knowing the type of people you'd invite to your party. This training could be based on predefined rules or through machine learning, where it learns from the data patterns over time. Of course, no system is perfect and IDPS is no exception. There might be false alarms, where it identifies a legitimate action as a threat. Or it might miss a real threat, much like our bouncer might mistakenly let in a party crasher disguised as a legitimate guest. But with continuous learning and updates, these instances can be minimized. So in a nutshell, IDPS is your network's bouncer, always vigilant, always ready to act, keeping your system safe from any intruders. It's an essential part of today's cybersecurity landscape, providing an additional layer of protection to your network. Think of it as a watchdog, constantly on the lookout for any suspicious activity that could harm your system. Now that we know what IDPS is, how does it work? You might be wondering, well, let's dive into the world of intrusion detection and prevention systems. IDPS, as we know, stands for Intrusion Detection and Prevention Systems. The name itself is pretty self-explanatory. It's like a digital watchtower, ever vigilant, always on the lookout for any signs of intrusion or attack on your network. The first step in the process is detection. The IDPS is constantly monitoring your network traffic, like a hawk eyeing its terrain. It's looking for anything out of the ordinary, any anomalies that might suggest a potential intrusion. This could be anything from a sudden spike in data traffic to an unknown IP address trying to access your network. But how does the IDPS know what to look for? This is where the system's database comes in. The IDPS has a vast database of known threats and attack patterns, much like a police database of known criminals and their modus operandi. When the IDPS spots something suspicious in your network traffic, it cross-references it with this database. If there's a match, it knows an attack is underway. But detecting an intrusion is only half the battle. The next step is prevention. Once the IDPS has identified a threat, it swings into action to stop it. Think of it like a digital superhero swooping in to save the day. 
the IDPS can take a variety of actions to prevent the intrusion. It might block the IP address of the attacker, disconnect the affected system from the network, or even apply patches to fix vulnerabilities in your system. Now, just like superheroes have their unique powers, different IDPS systems have different ways of detecting and preventing intrusions. Some use signature-based detection, which is like recognizing a criminal based on their fingerprints. Others use anomaly-based detection, which is akin to spotting a thief because they're acting suspiciously. Some IDPS systems even use a combination of both. It's important to remember that no system is infallible. Even the best IDPS can't catch every threat. That's why it's essential to keep your IDPS updated with the latest threat information. It's like giving your digital superhero the latest tools and information to fight crime. In essence, it's all about detecting the bad guys before they can do any harm and stopping them in their tracks. So next time you're online, remember that there's a digital superhero watching over you, keeping your network safe from intrusions. It's not just a system, it's your IDPS. So why is IDPS so important? The importance of Intrusion Detection and Prevention Systems, or IDPS, cannot be overstated in the realm of cybersecurity. In an era where digital threats are as real as physical ones, IDPS serves as a crucial guardian, a virtual line of defense designed to protect sensitive data and maintain system integrity. Imagine your computer system as a castle. Without IDPS, it's like a fortress without sentinels, vulnerable to attacks from any direction, with IDPS, you have an army of vigilant guards on duty around the clock, constantly monitoring and defending against any potential threats. Let's delve a bit deeper to understand why IDPS is so pivotal. To begin with, the most important function of IDPS is to protect sensitive data. This could be anything from personal information like social security numbers and credit card details to business critical data like trade secrets and client databases. In the wrong hands, such data can lead to disastrous consequences, including identity theft, financial loss, and reputational damage. IDPS systems are designed to detect, prevent, and alert when such breaches are attempted, thereby providing a robust shield for your data. Next, IDPS helps maintain system integrity. In the digital world, system integrity refers to the consistency, accuracy, and reliability of a system. Any unauthorized access or modification can disrupt this integrity, leading to system malfunction or even complete breakdown. An IDPS continuously monitors the system, ensuring that every packet of data is thoroughly inspected and that any anomaly is promptly addressed. Moreover, IDPS is essential in enforcing compliance with various regulatory standards. Many industries are subject to stringent regulations when it comes to data security and privacy. Non-compliance can result in hefty fines and legal action. By providing comprehensive security coverage, IDPS helps organizations meet these regulatory requirements, making it an indispensable tool in the compliance toolkit. Furthermore, an IDPS system serves as an early warning system. It's like a smoke detector for cyber threats, alerting you to potential issues before they turn into full-blown fires. This proactive approach allows for immediate action, minimizing the impact of any potential breach. Finally, IDPS contributes to an overall culture of security. By integrating IDPS into your security infrastructure, you're sending a clear message about your commitment to data protection. This not only deters potential attackers, but also builds trust with customers and stakeholders who can be confident in your ability to safeguard their data. So to sum it up, IDPS is crucial because it protects sensitive data maintains system integrity, enforces regulatory compliance, serves as an early warning system, and promotes a culture of security. Without IDPS, your system is like a house with no locks, open to all types of cyber threats. Now, let's talk about the different types of IDPs out there. First off, we have Network-Based Intrusion Detection and Prevention Systems, or NIDPS for short. These are usually installed at the boundary of the network like a virtual gatekeeper of sorts. They monitor all traffic entering and leaving the network, looking for any signs of suspicious activity. NIDPS are particularly useful in detecting and preventing large-scale attacks that target the entire network. Next up, 
we have host-based intrusion detection and prevention systems known as HDPs. These are installed on individual devices within the network rather than at the boundary. High DPS monitor the activities of a single host, making them excellent at detecting insider threats and anomalies that might slip past a NIDPS. If your office laptop suddenly starts sending out a barrage of emails at 3 in the morning, a high DPS would be quick to flag this as suspicious behavior. Our third type is the Wireless Intrusion Detection and Prevention Systems, or YDPS. As the name suggests, these systems are designed to secure wireless networks. They look out for rogue access points, unauthorized logins and other forms of attacks that specifically target wireless networks. If you're running a network with a lot of wireless connections, a WDPS could be a vital addition to your security arsenal. Next, we have the Network Behavior Analysis or NBA systems. These systems go beyond just looking at the data packets. Instead, they analyze the behavior of the network as a whole, looking for unusual traffic patterns or sudden spikes in bandwidth usage. NBA systems can help detect more sophisticated attacks that might not leave obvious traces. Lastly, we have the anomaly-based intrusion detection and prevention systems. These work by establishing a baseline of normal network behavior. Anything that deviates from this baseline is flagged as a potential threat. This makes them great at detecting new or unknown threats that don't match any known signatures. But remember, no single type of IDPS is a silver bullet. Each comes with its own strengths and weaknesses, and what works best will depend on the specific needs of your network. You might even find that a combination of different types of IDPS provides the most comprehensive protection. So whether you're safeguarding a small home network or securing a massive corporate infrastructure, understanding the different types of IDPs can help you make an informed decision. After all, in the world of cybersecurity, knowledge is your best defense. Choosing the right type of IDPS can make all the difference in your system security. So, how do you choose the right IDPS? Now, that's the question of the hour, isn't it? When it comes to selecting the right intrusion detection and prevention system, there's no one-size-fits-all solution. It's more like shopping for a pair of shoes. You need the right fit, the right style, and of course, it needs to be within your budget. Let's start with the nature of your system. Are you running a small business with a handful of devices? Or are you managing a large enterprise with a complex network and a plethora of gadgets? If you're on the smaller side, a host-based IDPS might be just the ticket. It's installed on individual devices and it focuses on protecting that specific device. However, if you're operating on a larger scale, a network-based IDPS could be the way to go. It observes the traffic on your entire network providing a broader scope of protection. Next, let's consider the sensitivity of your data. If you're dealing with highly confidential information like credit card details or medical records, you'll want an IDPS that offers advanced threat detection and response capabilities. On the other hand, if your data is less sensitive, you might be able to get by with a less advanced and therefore less expensive system. Your specific security needs are another crucial factor to consider. Do you require real-time alerts or are reports generated after the fact sufficient? Do you need a system that can automatically respond to threats or do you prefer to handle incidents manually? These are all questions you'll need to answer when choosing your IDPs. Even the best IDPs can't protect you from everything, so it's important to have other security measures in place as well. Think of your IDPs as a key player on your cybersecurity team, but not the entire team. You'll still need firewalls, antivirus software, and good old-fashioned common sense. And let's not forget about budget. While it's true that you can't put a price on security, the reality is that we all have financial constraints to consider. The good news is that there are IDPS options available at a range of price points, so you should be able to find a system that fits your budget. Finally, remember that choosing an IDPS is not a one-and-done deal. The cybersecurity landscape is constantly evolving and your IDPS will need to evolve with it. Regular updates and upgrades are a must to keep your system in top fighting shape. So there you have it. Choosing the right IDPS is all about understanding your system, your data, your needs and your budget. It's about finding the perfect balance between protection and practicality. 
Remember, the best IDPS for you is the one that suits your specific needs and circumstances. So, be sure to take the time to make an informed decision that's right for you. Your cybersecurity depends on it. So, there you have it, a simple guide to intrusion detection and prevention systems. We've journeyed through the labyrinth of IDPS, shedding light on its many facets. We began with understanding the basics, what IDPS is, and how it forms a critical pillar in the architecture of cybersecurity. We delved into the mechanics of IDPS, how it functions to safeguard our systems from unwanted intrusions and malicious threats. It's like the watchful sentinel, continuously scanning and monitoring network traffic, analyzing it for any signs of abnormal behavior or potential threats. We've also explored why IDPS is so important in this digital age. With cyber threats on the rise, it's paramount to have robust and reliable defenses in place. IDPS not only detects but also prevents these threats, ensuring the integrity and confidentiality of our data. We've looked at the common types of IDPs, each with its unique features and benefits. From network-based to host-based, from anomaly-based to signature-based, choosing the right one depends on your specific needs and the nature of your network environment. Finally, we've shared some insights on how to choose the right IDPS. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution, but rather a tailored approach based on the size of your network, the nature of your data, and the level of security you need. Remember, the key is to balance security with usability. In the grand scheme of cybersecurity, IDPS is not the be-all and end-all solution, but it is a significant piece of the puzzle. It's a proactive measure that can make the difference between a secure system and a compromised one. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and I hope you found it enlightening. I encourage you to delve deeper, continue learning, and stay updated on the latest developments in cybersecurity. Knowledge is power, and in this case, it's also protection. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more insightful content on cybersecurity. Stay safe out there.